I have a lot of DVDs. So let's get started. Hey guys, Aang Kong here, welcome to another video. And today I'm talking about DVDs, a ton of them. I'm talking about the regular ones, the foreign ones, the interesting ones, the fake ones, the box sets, the big box sets, and the very big box sets. So let's get started. So you know what a DVD is. This is a regular DVD, shown here with the Goonies. You know, you've got special features, back of the box, saying stuff. And the disc, you know, in a case like this. A DVD. I am holding it very incorrectly. But yeah, this is a DVD. So let's talk about some stuff. Some of these are just interesting DVDs, some of them are interesting design boxes, but the thing about them all is I have too many of them. Okay, so um, I've got one here. Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Ultimate DVD. We've got a blue spine and a blue cover that looks horrendous, Same, and the back is sideways. Because that's what I want, and also blue. So if you focus, the special features in this one are deleted scenes, the entire screenplay, 574 pages, st over 700 storyboards, and you know, teaser trailer, theatrical trailer, special edition trailer, commentary featuring 26 members, 60 minutes including interviews, behind scenes and production footage, and over 3,000 stills. There's a lot of extra stuff here. You don't see many screenplays on a disc. Oh, and there's a book as well. It does not contain the screenplay, which would have been pretty cool. Or storyboards, nope. It's just about random stuff about film production. And every single added scene in this version. Including the changing credits at chapter 80. So this comes on two discs, and um, rather nicely they've named them. Version 0 .0, this 0 0.01 and 0 0.02. There we go. And yeah, that's Terminator 2 in its very blue box. Another one is Ghostbusters. This is a 2009 release of a 2005 version of Ghostbusters 1 and 2. So this doesn't contain all... This is... The original 2005 one contains a ton of extras and all that, like booklet and stuff. This contains none of that and just contains a DVD with the two films. So opening it up, we get Ghostbusters and yeah, and the other one. So yeah, it's a pretty nice set. They they have got labels made for these that are custom compared to the original. So they to the original nineteen ninety nine one. So yeah, that's a DVD. Now TV shows are also released on DVD, showing one here. From BBC, Only Fools and Horses. This is, you know, just this one series of the show, simple. But my main thing is the special features. Exciting that it comes, it comes with some, and they are scene selection. This is the same for all seven series. What's the point in putting special features if you've had scene selection? In so, so this is the exact same for all series. Just get a silver box, a disc or two and a little booklet you don't get a booklet on the later ones you just get a page it says scenes and look speed heard from stairs sound john where h at pertwee as the second doctor okay and wheels and horses on cd rom and slim and black adder and faulty towers what Absolutely fabulous. More only for the horses and league gentlemen. So, um, and half the thing is dedicated to playing your DVD. See, so, yeah, that's an early DVD. Let's talk about some more BBC ones. So, over here, bottom series one. This is a regular BBC comedy DVD. The design, you know, picture, stuff and all that. Different shows, but, and also a single colour. But, yeah, these are very basic. To be fair, the special features are um, out of focus, but the special features are scene selection, series one, and outtakes. So, 
one of those is absolute points, the other one's actually a feature. But yes, these are very basic ones that every tons of BBC comedies had. They weren't very, they aren't very uncommon. And the disc is just, the back is a solid colour. And see, we have the young ones here with it. And uh, not the nine o'clock news and the bottom again. And the disc is pure red. Lovely. And oh, look, there's a disc behind it. Anyhow, there's, so the young ones is also released in this way. But in 2007, they released this, a much better boxer with actual special features because the young ones DVDs didn't have any. And look, a very nice custom DVD that isn't the same for 15 comedy shows. Look. Woo. Woo. See, this is nice, but sadly, not many shows got this. And the young ones are on your two series, which are something. Anyhow, but also with the bottom ones, as we were talking about about one minute ago, I don't know how you could have forgotten. Before that, they released live shows on DVD. And these are much nicer DVDs. Look, look at the, the custom and all that. Better menus instead of just pictures and music. And you look, there's an actual, there's like extras like a tour program, photo gallery, and a screensaver. They're not great, but they're something. And look at the disc. Oh my god, I knew you dropped it. Got a odd clear in the middle. You don't see that too many DVDs. And a little picture. So see, this is much nicer. But the other ones didn't get that. Okay, on some interesting cases. Here I've got The Office Season 1. Um, you know, quotes, smart biting, 95 satire. This isn't very good. The rest of it's much better, so um, it's just a regular DVD, you know. But the side, go to open it, it won't. And just, there's clips here. See, it says open. You open that one. You open the bottom one. It doesn't just open right up, nope. It's still opening with this thing. That's just a question. Why? Look, it still closes fine and locks without these on, but I don't know. You can, you can put, they put them on anyhow. God's sake. And look. And this lovely little. That's a bit satisfying. Anyhow, that DVD is done with. I am not using that. So next up. Is this this is a Lol and Hedy DVD from Germany, very basic, absolutely nothing on it, just a film. But the art, this is not the film I don't care about right now. The case, the recyclable ones. Otherwise, the worst kind of DVD case because there's absolutely nothing to these. Look, look. You can squeeze them. That's not good. I'm not. I mean. That's not what you want a DVD case to do. Because I get breaking it when you try to get the DVD out. And look, nothing there, nothing there. This is bad. I'm sure the recycle and say, like, I sent them to a plastic. It's still not good. Just make a DVD case if you're going to make one. It's already wasting plastic. This is just pointless. Alright, and another one we have is another TV show. The Office again. Okay, but this is a single DVD, look. but the slight difference is, look, it's slightly differently designed on the top, this clam is, clip is different, and when you open it up, whoa, five discs in one set, one of them's not here right now, ignore that, but look, this is a way to fit many discs in, and it feels very cramped. But hey, it holds it in a single DVD case. So that, whatever that's good or bad thing, it's up to you. Just to show in this video, I also have this oddly designed thing. It looks like just a CD of Spider-Man, but no! This is Spider-Man, the film, on CD. Well, correction, two CDs. Look, 
these are video what they call video series and they uh, each hold 70 about 70 minutes of video so yeah you can play film on the cd trouble is they only hold 70 minutes of video and that video isn't very good quality so um yeah they didn't catch on well, in like asian markets and stuff they did and this one's from i believe hong kong That's it. Now then, time for some box sets. We showed the young ones already, but now let's show some very odd ones, including the Twilight Zone Season 1. This is a cool thing that, you know, spines up with the rest of it. But, description on the back with special features, which is basically just a few commentaries. But yeah, this is cool. So far, you open it up, and... The DVD pops out and attacks you. So I got a little booklet talking about each episode and a pop out thing that contains. I'll put that to the side. Yeah, this is just pointless. I don't know why this is here. Just a cool little pop up thing. I don't know why. And, you know, and then in this other box, we get the discs, all six of them. And one broken one for me. It's there. It's a pretty pointless design to make it cooler. But hey, it's still cool. One DVD set to try to be space saving and cheaper. Harry Potter. The complete 8 film collection. Watch it anywhere with Ultraviolet, a dead um, digital movie service. Kind of sad, but also the codes are just. Wish you could just take it, put it onto your computer and put it on your phone, but that was much better. Okay, so you slip off this, which um, actually is different designed, but hey. And it contains DVDs, which include the um, Chamber of Secrets. And only a Chamber of Secrets. Huh. Well, there must be a year uh, first film as well around here. Prison Goblet of Fire. Half Blood Prince. Um, Deathly Hells Part 2. What the hell? Oh, oh. They're double sided. And what these basically are is a cowboy thing that holds discs. Each one is two, a documentary kind of thing, and a the film. Each one has two films on it, look. So, yeah. Pretty trying to, I guess, save on money and space. I just prefer to have a bunch of DVDs of them. This set is cool because it's cheaper. Hopefully, depending on where you buy them from. But not better. Okay, so before we get to the big ones, we will go with this box set of knocking over DVDs. Okay. Doctor Who, Series 1 to 4. Does this one contain... If the first four series would have a lid, this one doesn't. So look, and if you went to tip it aside, the other side, it contains four huge DVDs. So let's take a look at one. Series one just contains a chunky disc and DVDs. So this set is pretty darn cool. If you like Doctor Who, it contains the entire first four series. And they're not as nice boxes as the big cardboard ones you get, but hey, it's much better. I prefer to get four series of a show in a oh, in a pretty nice box compared to one a bit of a nicer box containing all containing only one of them. This one has a um, personally the, the, my favorite design on these discs of Doctor Who. They're like all they easily can get scratched. So yeah. I might not, I don't think I'll show you all these, I'll just show you one more series tray. There. This contains the Christmas specials as well. So you get every single episode of Doctor Who, from the first series to the fourth series. Okay. Time for the big box sets. And we will start off with the big, the one, the only, Friends. So this is a... 2009 25th anniversary no, sorry 15th anniversary release of friends complete 
this is the extended versions of them as well. So this contains pictures of all of them. Absolutely nothing on the back. This one is in not in great shape, but it was cheap enough. And so inside this we have a 10 DVDs and a booklet that basically just goes over all the episodes of Friends. Oh look, the one with the Phoebe's uterus. What a classic. Anyhow, this basically just comes with a single standard DVD case, each containing four discs for each season. Look, look. Oh, cool. And they are properly numbered. But the fact that if you go into season 10, it goes to number 40. The hour the last is good, just special feature because friends didn't have enough episodes in that series. So, yeah, look, you get these are pretty damn cool. And there's even a little photo back there, and they're clear so you can read the episode titles. Look, Ooh. anyhow, I'm not going to go through all of these because there is 10 of them, and that would take a bit of time. And we have spent a good bit of time already, anyhow. Now it's time to whisk the box away Ooh. and get started on the next one. This one is also a big one, even very similar size to the Friends one. This is Laurel and Hardy, the collection. It's a very nice big box set. I may have shown, I think I might have shown this a while ago in a video, but it's a very cool thing. You see each side and then if you tip it over and then um, turn it around once, you will see a list of everything on here. It contains 21 discs and the total running time is 68 hours. Yikes. Okay, so I'm ripping the lid off and... It's struggling. We get 21 lovely discs. As you can see, we have one with the hats. And let's just take a look at um, disc 9. Which is the Bohemian Girl. Not the best film. This contains the film in black and white in colour and three shorts. There was a silent one, so they're all in black and white only. The silent one's only black and white all over these little headies. There we go, there's the disc. These sets also contain just discs of shorts, including this one called Blackmail. So look, this contains a ton of shorts. There you go. And also, surprisingly, this one's for three hours. You'd expect pretty short discs in these because it's a Laurel and Hardy and they're 20 minute shorts, but I guess being in black and white and colour means that they're a bit longer. Okay, I've got one more box set. It's a big one and it isn't as, maybe not as high quality boxes as the other one, but it's still big. The complete collection of Murder She Wrote, series 1 to 12, and TV movie. Now, this looks like a really big, high quality box. Now, this was released also in America, but doesn't contain the four movies on its standard DVD cases. But this one is slightly different. First, I'll show you the back. Now, can I zoom in? Uh, we know four Golden Globes, so I'm, I'm actually not going to read it. But guest I'd include George Clooney, Shirley, uh, Shirley Jones, uh, Courtney Cox, Leslie Nielsen, and Joe Quinn Fox. But, however, people like Courtney Cox appear for about 15 seconds in one scene. So, yeah, I wouldn't call it huge guest stars. And there's like two special features on this entire set. Now, the interesting about, thing about it is how they packaged it. Instead of packaging you with a DVD, they gave you. Yeah. I should have knocked that. Two DVDs. Each of them containing half the show. So, yeah, you can guess how these are packaged. Yes. Right. Maybe you may notice those labels. I put those on myself. There's no way. Saying on the discs and on the box, what episodes and which disc. So yes, this is how they're packaged. Little compartments for each one. This is a series, this is a series, two series is back there. Yeah, that's how they work. And also with these, this one, there's a 
the the two the four TV movies are on two discs behind the rest. So yeah, that's the entirety of Murder She Wrote on two big DVD cases. Now the Office was also released like this in an incomplete box. I don't like that. Okay, so time to wrap up this video with some bootlegs. Now I've got them right here with Peter Kay's Phoenix Knight both series. Now these are clearly bootleg. They contain the actual DVD, you know, the menus and all that from the official one and the episodes, but but look from see that is horribly printed. Oh my god, you can't even see that. That's not that three really at focus, you know, you just can't see it. And yeah, the ink wasn't too good. I can't even try to do a barcode thing, I have no clue what it was. And inside is um this which is um, a pretty fine label, not great looking, and oh my god, a DVD error. They burnt it straight onto the disc. Now, Series 2 is even weirder. They didn't get the artwork for Series 2. Series 2 looks completely different to Phoenix Knights. They used Series 1 and edited it to make it look like Series 2. To be fair, they fixed the printer, it seems. But yeah, um, yeah they just added a 2 there. Series 2 in the corner, no of you. And the back is completely different with no barcode or information. The disc is exactly the same. So, on um, yeah. Now, next up. Potentially bootlegs. This has to be one. It's so unofficial. It's hilarious. But, I'm not sure if there's an official release of this on DVD. This might be one of the few releases of Fist of Fury 2. With Bruce Lee. So you open it up, this is the disc. Prism Lee Leisure. You will see in the next disc as well. So that makes me really feel this is not official. And it looks complete crap. So um, yeah. And the final one. Robocop 4 Film Collection. Amazing collection. 4 DVD. So this is 2 DVDs. Flip disc ones. Which are in the name. Yeah. There's two of those, and this contains four episodes of, Robo of a Robocop TV show. No films, no. And also, on the if you take out the artwork, double-sided. So I thank you guys for watching. Happy 20 subscribers, because that's what this video is about. Because now it's a milestone, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. B A B B E B B I Bicky by B O Bo Bicky by Bo B U Boo Bicky by Bo Boo C A C C E C C I Sicky Sai C O So Sicky Sai So C U Su Sicky Sai So Su